Welcome to Twin Bush. There's a new tips and tricks episode. Today we'll focus on the limit switch adjustment on the S318U and S319 scissor lifts. There are two limit switches on both models. One limit switch ensures the upper shutdown, the maximum lifting height. The second adjustable limit switch ensures that the lift stops while lowering with down one. And it does so in the area where the feet can be pinched. And the rest of the way is lowered with the down two button. The limit switches are used for this. We'll show you this setting as well as the setting of the limit switch for the upper shutdown. I'll quickly show you where they're installed. The limit switch with the long sensor arm is mounted on the base frame of the S318U. The scissor element moves towards the limit switch while lowering the lift. It touches the limit switch and stops shortly. The rest can be lowered with the down to button. I'll shortly show you what happens. When lowering with the down one button, the lift moves up time controlled for a bit, unlocks the safety catches on both sides and then lowers itself. The foot protection switch stops the lift. And now with this setting, it's important to pay attention that it's adjusted so that the safety catches don't have any more locking positions downwards. Because with the down 2 button, the lift moves down immediately. If the shutdown point had been set too early, the lift could get stuck in the lock with the down 2 button and the lift wouldn't lower itself. The lift lowers itself immediately with the down 2 button. Now I'll show you how to adjust the limit switch. It's very easy. A size 3 Allen key is needed. The length of the sensor arm can be adjusted. And the angle of the sensor arm can be adjusted as well. This small screw must be loosened for that. Then the arm can be turned. In the case of this lift, the sensor arm is also disassembled a bit. The sensor arm is flipped. I'll now show you how it's mounted. As mentioned, the angle can be adjusted, the length can be adjusted, then you choose the right setting so that, as mentioned, you hear a clack when the cross beam touches the limit switch. When it clacks, it activates and stops the lift. And this limit switch should be set in such a way that the lift is stopped in the position where there are no more locks, so that the lift can be lowered immediately with the down 2 button. A second limit switch is also installed, the one with the short sensor arm. It can be adjusted with the size 3 Allen key as well. It's used for the upper shutdown. I'll show you where it's mounted. This limit switch is mounted on the side of the frame. The plastic glider moves in this direction when the lift moves up. Touches the limit switch and the lift is shut down. The lift was driven up towards the shutdown point. Now press the lock button to block the lift. The lift lowers itself. Onto the safety catch. And the limit switch on the base frame at the bottom must release again exactly in this position. This means, if the limit switch was still activated, I wouldn't be able to lift up from the catch to unlock the lift. When down one is pressed, the lift goes up, unlocks and lowers itself. We have the same limit switch combination on the S319. 
The limit switch with the short arm is located on the side of the frame again. It's activated by the plastic glider while lifting up. And when lowering, this crossbeam touches the limit switch, which ensures feet won't get pinched. This would be the ideal shutdown point. The lift is limited shortly before the hydraulic stop, and the safety catch on this area should be free enough so that the lift can be unlocked when lowering. Of course, the whole system works perfectly only when the lift moves synchronously on both sides. Now we proof the lower shutdown point where feet shouldn't get pinched. It should be set in such a way that, when lowering, the catch is positioned in this area, at the lower shutdown point. Because this lift also goes down directly when pressing down too. So. The foot stop has been reached. The ideal stop would be 50 centimeters. There's enough freedom of movement for the safety catch in this area to unlock easily when pressing down too, and the lift can go down directly.